problems with dangerous, even deadly, highway guardrails across Oklahoma and the country. There are allegations that a small design change may have saved money but compromised safety. Our Dave Detling tonight with the update on the danger you likely pass every day. This is San Antonio. It's here government ordered guardrail safety tests have been taking place since our report in October. At different heights and angles, the fixed guardrails passed or appeared to pass with minimal damage to the test. But this eighth and final test, head on at 63 miles an hour, had a much different result. A dangerous failure, according to the senator who demanded these tests. That final video is absolutely hideously shocking. The damage done to the driver's side is supposed to not happen. The guardrails have to pass all eight tests to be considered safe by federal standards, and critics say they did not. It locked up and it flipped around. This is exactly what some of the crashes we're seeing in real world look like. The guardrails are in numerous states. What I have seen and witnessed, I'd hit anything else but one of these. These things are not working. Josh Harmon is the whistleblower behind the guardrails. In the summer of 2013, a rail on Highway 75 near Tulsa did what Harmon says they're notorious for. The mother that got distracted, the grandmother, the guardrail went through and cut both her legs off. The Marine who fell asleep cut both his legs off. The grandmother didn't survive, the Marine did. By design, the head of the guardrail is supposed to absorb the impact and curl the rail away. But a lawsuit against the maker brought by a competitor claims the guardrails were modified by just an inch to save a few dollars. Turning them into dangerous highway hazards. Dave Detling, KOCO 5 News. Now, the maker of those guardrails says it's too soon to call these latest tests a failure. They continue to stand by their design. Meantime, ODOT will not be removing the existing rails, but they will not add any more.